And we back! I'm not even gonna try to pronounce your name. Challenge! Pick one player and get awards for him. First year's rookie of the year, second year's sixth man, third year's most improved, fourth year's defensive player of the year, fifth year's MVP, and finals MVP. What the heck? Five years, five awards, and see if we can get it done. I just spent the last five minutes trying to figure out how exactly I wanted to do this. Did I want to use somebody that was a part of the 2021 draft class like Evan Mobley or Scotty Barnes? Or do I want to go out there and try to find a fictional guy? And of course, we landed on fictional, man. I love draft classes where we could potentially find the next NBA great. But I'm also giving myself multiple years to try to find that player because, as you know, some draft classes don't have anybody that's good. Could Charles McDaniels be our guy? His thing says paint defender. I think the hardest thing about this challenge is finding the future defensive player of the year. That's going to be extremely, extremely hard, especially when they're going against Giannis, they're going against John Isaac, and all these people that normally win defensive player of the year. But if my boy Charles is coming out here as a paint defender, maybe he's the guy. Projected first overall pick is a 3 and D off guard. Don't like that because, you know, other than Marcus Smart this season, guards don't really, really win the award. So, I'm going to simulate this first season. We're, we're going to see... If there's somebody that we're interested in, but more likely than not, it seems like maybe year number two or year number three, because I'm only giving myself three years to figure it out. So if we miss out on year number one, then I go into year number two. If we miss out on year number two, then I have to pick somebody at year number three, because I was, you, okay, cool. Like, how am I supposed to beat Giannis in what, a year, I think it's year four? Yeah, year four player going to beat Giannis. Now, the good thing is that in four years, when we, we try to do that part of the challenge, he's going to be 31. He's still going to be in his prime. I, I'm trying to act like bro about to go out there and fall off a cliff defensively. It just don't happen. The other people going to be competing with is, like I said, John Isaac, Rudy Gobert, Paul George, Ben Simmons, and then I guess Anthony Davis and LeBron are both great defenders too. All right, so now we're going to the draft because that's what we're going to figure out if we want to pick somebody from that class. Again, that, that paint defender guy looks kind of interesting. Uh, I did not see his offensive stats because at the end of the day, he still has to win MVP too. He has to be able to hold his own defensively and also win MVP by year number five. Uh, so we'll, we'll see exactly. The Bucks get the first overall pick. I don't even want to go to the draft. We're going to simulate right through it and then just look at the recap. Oh, snap. Charles McDaniels. I, I think you have a chance. He's got all NBA center, which is cool. If we worked that the right way, that might be good enough. He can shoot a little bit. Okay. Playmaking is about average for his position. Post defense is great. Rebounding is about average for his position. He's extremely athletic for his position. Not very smart. Got okay potential, not the greatest potential. I am probably, we're going to start off there. He has to win rookie of the year and then six man in the year after that. Okay. I think we are starting off with Charlie McDaniels from the Miami Heat. I will be looking at year number two, see if there's a better option. Best believe we're looking at year number two, but Charlie McDaniels, you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be our guy. All we have to do this season is get him to win Rookie of the Year. And right now he's playing alongside Alperen Sengun and and people like that. I'm actually gonna trade every center that's on the roster. You know what? No, it's not smart to go out there and give him all of the minutes and stuff. Because he still got to win most approved player someday. I'll take a first round pick for Sin Goon. Shout out to him. He still has to win most approved player someday. So we can't afford to have him come out and average 25. Because how are we supposed to improve off that? But we do need him to be good enough to be the best rookie in his class. What's your shot tendency? Please be decent. Please be decent. Please be decent. The one thing, it's below average. The one thing he got working for him is that he's a center. And with centers, he's guaranteed to get like a decent amount of rebounds. I'm trading Garaba as well. If you play center, you can't hoop for us. First round pick for Garaba. Cool. All right. Jay Sean, take it. Come back to the team. Right now, all we focus on is winning rookie of the year. That's all we care about right now. All right. So he's got Jimmy Butler and De'Aaron Fox on his team too. Um, both of those guys take shots. What, what's your shot, Tennessee? 99 and 80. A 99 for De'Aaron Fox is crazy. We also got Scotty Barnes who's below that. That's low-key insane. But, again, all we need to do is win Rookie of the Year. Just have better stats than every other rookie and nothing else really matters. I will be using player mentorship on our guy. So, we, we're going to try our best to get him decent by using, I guess, Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler got drop stepper. We'll take that for our big. Mouse in the house, sure. And my boy already got fade ace bronze, so add that on top of it. Jimmy Butler be the best mentor you can be. Overall minutes, they're trying to give him about 30. I'm going to raise that to about, uh, let's say, let's say 35-ish. Let's say 35 to start off with. First game of the season is a win where my boy put up 7-3-2 and, and fouled out. 
No big deal. He fouled out. That was that was the first game jitters. Game two. I almost fouled out again. Game three. Do we have to restart? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It just took a little time. You know what we could do though? We can make like Jimmy the number one option. De'Aaron number two. And then guarantee that McDaniels is number three. And guaranteeing him number three means he's going to get the third most shots on the team. And that might be good enough. Like, boy, is, he is fouling a ton. But if he's putting up this, I guarantee you he's going to win Rookie of the Year. Foul rate is out of this world. But same thing with Gary Payton and Scotty. Who did, who did we just play against? Let's get into the line like that. Oh, Joel Embiid. I mean, he only had four free throws. But Joel Embiid would do that to your organization normally. Okay. You know, let's. I know we're only a couple weeks into the season. But I just quickly want to just make sure. So I'm a little bit afraid that we're going to lose out on that. He's second in points. But he's first in rebounds. Second in blocks behind this guy who could take it, but his rebound numbers ain't good enough. We we saw I think we're in a very good place for this first season. Moment of truth for your number one is a win. All right, Charlie. We gotta step it up next season. Um, because next actually next season is six man of the year. So maybe we don't need the yeah, we do gotta get well, we have to get better. Uh six man of the year right here. If you put up these exact same stats off the bench, you win this season. So I think I'll just give you the same amount of minutes, but have somebody else start in that center and we'll be solid. Defense player of the year goes to John Isaac. We didn't really have a chance to win that. We don't even want to win that because we want to do this in that order. We are the sixth seed in the playoffs. I don't really care about that. The rebuild portion don't come into your number five when you have to win MVP and finals MVP. So we could get eliminated right now. I couldn't care less. And the eighth seed from play-in to NBA champions. Kevin Durant did that in Charlotte. Cool. Year two is six man of the year. Like I said, I do want to see if there's another person out there that gets drafted that maybe makes this a little bit easier for us. This draft class, another paint defender. And this guy's 19, but he don't look nearly as polished offensively than our guy. He's got a higher shot tendency though, but not nearly as polished. So we'll run with what we got now. Uh, we have some first round picks because I did trades earlier, didn't I? I traded Sengun for first and this guy's for first. All right, so let me just bring back everybody because, again, I don't really care about the quality of this team at this time. I just want to make sure that we get this six man of the year award. Player progression is extremely important for a challenge like this. We got to make sure that our guy is getting better. And he jumped up four. He jumped up four. We'll take that. He went from eight badges to 20 badges. Now he is a two way inside out scorer defensively okay the inside defense didn't change but the perimeter defense did okay he can now shoot a lot better than previous seasons will his shot tendency improve with them i don't even really want to check i'm just gonna assume that it will because that's the way 2k works at least sometimes actually okay i will check uh shot tendency check 61 i think it was like 50 something last season so i did get up a little bit but we have to win six man of the year so we are going to start willis morris Guy that we drafted this year. Balmaro, we taking that away. And this other rookie, we taking your minutes away because we got to make sure that our guy is the sixth man and he's getting six man quality minutes. Actually, you don't even get that many minutes. We giving that to our boy. But next year, we have to win most improved. So we need him to have good stats, not great stats. Good stats, not great stats. Most improved player and defensive player of the year. I'm not most improved player. Six man of the year. And then most improved player makes it tough. And defensive player of the year is going to make it tough as well. Actually, this guy came in as a rookie. He like, hey, you give me this opportunity. We're going to make it work. And he did his thing. Not so much for our guy. He needs to get his foul rate down. It seems like every game we walk into, bro is fouling out. Even this, okay, at four this one. I was looking at offensive rebounds. But this is the type of games we need often. Overall stats through two games are about the same as the previous season, which is good. Let's go like two weeks in. I mean, we're, we're falling off a cliff as an organization. But hey. I, I, that doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, his numbers look pretty good right now. They look pretty good right now. It's still scary. I don't know what his competition is going to be like. So I'm going to simulate to the beginning of January to kind of take a look around the league to see who his comp competition is. I'm going to assume that he's got a good chance, though, just because he is averaging 17 and like 10 or so. I'm telling you, those rebounds really do matter in a challenge like this. Okay. This is extremely scary because somehow we're number one right now. But the people beneath him are killing. James Hart is coming off the bench. He's averaging 21 and 7 with five rebounds. Then Drummond off the bench is averaging 17 and 11. His numbers are better than, I mean, it's not about a lot, but his numbers are better than ours. I mean, we get the blocks, so that kind of helps maybe. But they're saying we're number one. But I don't really believe that we truly number one, y'all. So I'm a little bit scared. I might raise his minutes up. But again, we do need him to win most approved player next season. But I, you know what? Let's focus on this season and this challenge, and we'll make most improved player count when it matters. 
He's still the number three option. Maybe when we want most approved, he's number one option with all the minutes. But he is the leader of this race in this moment in time. And that's all I can ask for. I think. Oh, I'm so afraid. And look, there, there's six men in here, James Harden. He put up 21. We put up 15 and 14. You know what? We had a better game. I mean, well, no. He actually had the better game with those shooting splits. But we had the better counting stats game with the 14 rebounds. I'm a little bit scared. I'm going to be honest with you. But hey, you, you just got to do what you got to do. Moment of truth. LaMelo wins MVP. James Booknight is a rookie because he hasn't played. We do get six man of the year. Oh, man. And now we got to go out and, and win most improved player. Better stats than 17, 11, four and a half. Listen, one steal and 1.7 blocks is not too bad for a player that eventually we have to win defensive player of the year with. The real defensive player of the year was Giannis, whose stats just look better. But I don't really care. I'm excited that we did the thing. We're not going to make all the defensive team for sure. But I, I'm excited that we did the thing. We did not make the playoffs this season, but that don't really matter to me again. Uh, I'm just excited that next season we can focus on most improved. And I think the recipe for most improved now that we've already won six man of the year ain't that going to be that bad. Because just give him all of the minutes, right? Give him all of the minutes. No centers on a rotation. Make him the number one scoring option. He will win most improved player. At least he should. You know what I'm saying? It also count, uh, depends on his overall progression once we get to this offseason point. Player progression is coming up. I need an 87. 88. 32, uh, 23 badges now. Timmy Butler's getting worse. Same thing with De'Aaron Fox. That's okay. We traded for Josh Primo. The two centers that we had on the roster, we got rid of and got Josh Primo instead. Do we need Josh Primo? Absolutely not. But they did give us a first round pick in the deal. And even though this is not a video where I should care about first round picks, at least right now, I wanted the first round pick. So I made that deal. All right. So now we know who our starting center is. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. I'm going to take some minutes away from these people beneath him. And this should be the fun part where he goes out there and averages a ton of points as the number one scoring option. Jimmy Butler, move over to the side because you were starting to regress anyway. So we're going to make sure that our guy, Charles, Charlie, what was your name? Charlie McDaniels is going to go out there and game number one of the season. Dang. Oh, my God. We had two people put up triple doubles and neither of them were our guy. Oh, my God. Scotty Barnes is insane. Jimmy Butler, too. I took away his number one scoring option. He says, psych, he going to get it anyway. That's fine. That's fine because game number two is going to be Charlie. Charlie, what's your shot tendency at now? Okay, it's a, it's slightly above average, but it's still not good. I thought it was going to be simple. Uh, uh, that's simple. I, uh, dang! A 22-27-9 assist game? Okay, that's fine. I was about to say I thought it was going to be pretty simple to win most improved player. But, I, I mean, through the first couple games of the season, we've seen a little bit of both sides. Nah, it's, we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. That's, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, most of the player, here we come. The only scary thing about him putting up these type of stats, we have to win MVP, which means that he has to put up better stats than what he's doing now, but we also have to rebuild the team so that they're good so he can have a better chance to win it. It's a lot going into this one, baby. I'm going to go to the trade outline just to, just to kind of look around the league to make sure we're winning most improved. Fellas, 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 it's not looking good because uh, Wade Harvey went from six points per game to 11. And they like, oh, snap, he's the most approved player. Man, we jumped up to 23 and added more rebounds and added more assists and added more steals and blocks. And don't talk about field goal percentage. It's the same thing with this guy. His field goal percentage even went down too. Tyrell Terry, how are we in third? Do I need to trade for Wade Harvey and Tyrell Terry? The, the, the little sabotage. Yep, I'm going over there to, who was it? The Mavericks had one of the guys. Yep, Josh Primo. We didn't need you. <laughs> I said that a little while ago. Oh, we didn't need you. And then the next dude was um who? Tyrell Terry, who plays for the Kings. Yeah. Yeah, we plan, we plan dirty out here because we need to complete this challenge. So Tyrell Terry, you're gonna go from a starting point guard in this league to uh less than that. And when I say less than that, I mean it because you're getting zero points. Oh, I'm sorry, not zero points. Zero minutes. Same thing with you, Mr. Wade Harvey. Y'all are reserves. Get mad at me all you want. It's not my problem no more. It's beyond me. I can't do anything about it. I'm just a general manager. That's the coach that's not playing you. I, I can't do, we better win. We if Cause if somebody else come in and sneak this position, you know we need to do, no, 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 Kenny. Hold on. We need to make sure, we need to make sure their averages go down. And the way you do that is that you do give them minutes. You just give them one minute per. <laughs> yes, sir. You give them one minute per game. You give them one minute per game, boom. 
Now, all of their averages are about to go down. Look at that. Boogie Cousins? No, I, I said, how did you end up with six minutes? I said one. Oh, because McDaniels fouled out and had zero made field goals. You suck. You cannot be doing that in this challenge. All right, so remember, he averaged 11 and a half, and Tyro Terry is averaging 12 and a half. Remember that, because we're going to look back at the end of the season. 11 and a half and 12 and a half. All right. Were we successful? We were not. We were not successful because Mo McCarthy came in. He averaged two more points, about four, about four more rebounds, and he stole it. Where, where's our guy again? We jumped up about five more points, about four more rebounds, an assist. We failed, technically. Um, we were all NBA first team. We went from six man, oh, I'm sorry. Wait, what was the six man last year? Six man of the year to all NBA first team. And they like, eh, we'd rather give it to this dude that averaged three more points and ended up averaging 11. Ah, oh, that's so sad. All defensive second team, no. Next year we have to win defensive player of the year. So the fact that we got all defensive second team is actually pretty pretty good. We're still gonna be going against Giannis and, and John Isaac and stuff. I, I'm still sad about this. I'm still sad about that. The two people that we traded for were the wrong two people. This guy went down to six points per game. And then Tyro Terry went down to seven. We traded for the wrong. We should have traded for all five or all the four other people that were in the race. My mistake. But I, I saw those people below me. I didn't even really look at them as a threat. When in reality, they really were. Jonathan Kamingo wins uh, MVP on the Bulls. And it is time to now go try to get Defensive Player of the Year. But we, we already technically failed the entire challenge. But we just gonna, we gonna ride. We're gonna try to complete the rest. So instead of us going uh, zero for one, we go four for five, so we feel a little bit better about ourselves. The bad thing is he's kind of plateaued here. He doesn't have any more badges than the previous season, and he went up one overall, so it, it kind of sucks. But there's not much we can really do on our end to make sure he wins Defensive Player of the Year. We just got to do the same thing. and get, Actually, let's get this Harvey guy off the team. <laughs> we traded for you to win most, so you don't win most proof player. We were successful in that, but we don't want to hold you back from being the best version of yourself. So we're going to trade you to a different team where you can really get the opportunity that you deserve. We'll take in, I guess, DeAndre Hunter. None of that really matters to us right now. And then now, we got to make sure that there's no other centers, which it, it, there isn't any. And we just give these minutes to him and hope that just him playing all these minutes is good enough. There's nothing really more we can do to help him win Defensive Player of the Year. He was defensive second team last season, so maybe that helps out our odds of getting first team. I don't really know. Just try to get a lot of blocks and stuff. Bro just got a five by five whoa he's averaging five and a half blocks through four games and he put up the first five by five says what yusuf nurkis did it years ago oh man okay if that's not good enough to win defensive player of the year, i don't know what it is again it's a small sample size but it seems like every single every single game he's out there getting a lot of lot of blocks if you can average 3.9 blocks for a season you're going to win Defensive Player of the Year. It don't matter if you're on the 12th worst team in your conference or the 26th ranked team of all the basketball. You're going to get it done. Is is the video over? Um, Because he, he became the first player to win MVP while shooting, what, 40% from the field? He had to win Defensive Player of the Year. He still did win Defensive Player of the Year? Bro, there's no way. They got the swap, bro. If anything, we should have won. What the? Look at these numbers, right? Look at these numbers. 27, 18, 5, 2 steals, 4 blocks. Giannis doesn't have anything to do with our team, probably as a whole, not being good defensively because we didn't make the playoffs. Maybe, but we gave MVP to a dude that didn't make the playoffs. So what the heck is happening, 2K? That's actually insane that he put up those numbers, though. I will say that. I will say that. We got the MVP before the Defensive Player of the Year. Basically, this video is all over the place and basically a throwaway. My last part is to get him finals MVP uh, because now he just keep missing the playoffs and now they're trying to question his legacy. Is he really that guy? He's been shooting 40% from the fields and he missed the playoffs. You're trying to tell me that's the MVP of the league? And I understand the criticism because I would be saying the same thing on one of my, <laughs> on one of my channels. Bro, he won MVP? Averaging 40, I mean, not averaging 40, putting up 40% from the field. Like, yeah, he had the rest of the count stats was elite. But, like, bro, he's out there shot chucking. We're going to get him a team around him where he is very, very good and good enough to win a championship. That's the goal. He's trying to take an off from someone else. We're going to say no, and then we're going to rebuild around him. We got, like, Trey Young on the team and stuff. 
Obviously, that didn't matter this year. We were the 12th seed. So I'm going to trade Trey Young and Anthony Sa I'm trading everything that's not nailed to the ground. And the only thing that's nailed to the ground is McDaniels. Trade it for Ben Simmons. Yep, I traded Trey Young for Ben Simmons. Fight me. I just, I want to get players that won't score, but are going to help us win. And y'all know that's a, that's the Sim Demon Ben Simmons. Bro, don't lose games often. DeJounte is in that same mode of player. So I'm going to do that as well. Give me players that defend that won't take away a lot of the actual stats. So our big four, I'm going to call it that because uh, I'm putting you at the three. It's going to be like this. We need a guard, shooting guard. And maybe this is a dude that scored up just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got to think too hard about it. You do need at least one bucket getter. We're so far in the future that I don't know who's a bucket getter and who's not. Um, so, you know what? I guess I guess we're fine. We'll just spend our money in free agency and do the rest of the rebuild once the season starts. I'm trying to for known bucket getter Scott Gilmore. Known bucket getter. He could have won most improved player. Going from 0 0.3 to 17 points per game in one season. What a great story that is. He's going to be our starting two guard. So we our star lineup looks elite. The bench is really bad. But I don't, do I, should I care about that is my question. Because we're giving all these minutes right here, right? Star lineup is so, so lethal that I don't think I care. But we do got some extra first round picks. And since this is the last year of the video, regardless, we shouldn't care about those. So let's go out and just make the bench at least slightly better. Gregor Bender. Last guy named Bender that was in the NBA didn't turn out to be pretty, or at least any good. Shout out to him. But we, we got that guy. Let's go get another backup guard. Derek White. Okay, we'll take that 80 plus overall player right there. That's all we're looking for, 80 pluses. We got 23-year-old here. And then we got Gabe Vincent in the last first round pick. And then we're going to start simulating. This is going to be the last trade. Matisse Thybul, sure. Did we need those players? Probably not. But we did just round out our rotation a little bit more where only people that are hooping for us are 79 and above. All right, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. We got all the minutes. Number one scoring option. First game of the season. Please win. Is a win. This guy's insane. Eight blocks. Sheesh. Eight blocks is incredible. He went back to back. Hey, he shot 41% from the field this year. Cannot be Giannis defensively, no matter what. We were the number two team in all the basketball. He didn't average nearly as many steals in, in blocks as last year. But I think part of that is because we got Ben Simmons and DeJounte Murray and Scotty Barnes, all great defensive players, so they took some of that away. But I was okay with that. Even with that said, we still were a top defense, and the overall counting stats were better than, than Giannis's defensively, but it still wasn't good enough. So as long as we get this Finals MVP, I'm, I'm okay with everything. We're the two seed. So, you know, there was one team better than us. That was the Orlando Magic. It was only about two games. Maybe we'll see them a little bit later. Detroit is rocking with Josh Christopher, Sadiq Bay, Evan Mobley. We don't really talk about uh, the auto-generated people. I did see Chris Dunn there, too. I don't want to disrespect Chris Dunn, who uh, at one point, when he was a bull, really was a fan of Chris Dunn. We ain't have a lot to root for, so Chris Dunn was actually my guy. We get out of that round and go against the three-seeded Cavaliers, Jamal Murray, Donovan Mitchell, Anthony Edwards. Wow. All right, they got three legitimate buckets. But do they got much else? Because we got legitimate defenders on this team. You feel me? I don't want a simcast. No, I don't want a simcast. 3-1 lead, and we get to the conference finals. We go against a team that was better than us, at least in the regular season, and we'll see if we can beat them. It is LaMelo at a 98. Bo Bowl is also started for them. It seems not great, but they were better than us. Four 90s. They were better than us with Bo Bowl and Lenny Kane. Starting. Lamelo got to be some different kind of monster. We have the MVP on our side. Okay. We lose game one. We win game two. There you go, MVP. Don't let Lamelo Ball outplay you now. Don't let Lamelo Ball outplay you now. 2-2. 3-2 two, two, two us. Game seven. We simcast game sevens. Y'all know that. We got to simcast game sevens. It's a good old Florida classic. Miami versus Orlando. And we're up. And we're going to win this to go to the finals. That's beautiful. In game seven, it was a huge game from our guy, Charlie McDaniels. Also, the Bender guy off the bench. Pretty elite. Love to see that. And, yeah, we're, we're four games away from being crowned NBA champions. We're going against the Dallas Mavericks. We have Tyrese, Isaac Coro, RJ, and that guy, Giannis. This is an elite-level team. What, what's Y'all with the two-seed as well? This is an elite-level team. If we win this, we taking all of those Defense Player of the Year awards away from Giannis because we deserve it. Actually, nah, I, you know what? Yeah, yeah, who cares? I don't, actually, I don't care if we win the championship. We're out here to prove a point. 
The Dallas Mavericks, I am putting my def my defensive player of the year on your best player. So we can prove that we are the best. Yeah, Charlie, go clamp up Giannis so the world can know you're the best defensive player in all of basketball. May Giannis shoot less than 50%? Clamped up to me. Game two. Okay, well, can't do much about that. Uh, <laughs> game three. Okay, they take game. And Giannis had a very, very good one. Okay. Oh. All right. Um, that's... Oh. You know what? We don't need you to guard Giannis no more. We don't need you to guard Giannis no more. It, 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 let Scotty Barnes do it. See, see, Scotty Barnes is a better defender for this uh, because Scotty Barnes is a wing who plays perimeter basketball where, like, McDaniels is the big down low. See, look, sub 50% shooting. Yeah, he had 37 points, but who cares? 25 rebound game. He And 10 of them offensive? Game seven, we got to do what we got to do. All right, Miami Heat basketball. Can we make, oh, we're about, to... hey, we didn't successfully do this challenge, but I had a lot of fun, and we go into the NBA Finals in the game seven. We get the Finals MVP, and we had eight blocks in this one. Eight blocks. Giannis shot less than 50% from the field again. Can we look at Giannis's playoff, not playoffs, NBA Finals stats? I'm just, I'm just curious, that's all. You know what I'm saying? Just just the finals. I just want to see how elite you were. Now, I can't be mad because also Charlie shot less than 50%. But that's what Charlie does. He's he's always been that guy. Um, Giannis, oh, he shot 54% from the field this series. So he's actually really, really good. Okay, whatever. The challenge was to win Rookie of the Year. We did that. Six Man of the Year, we did that. Most Improved, we did that. We never got Defensive Player of the Year, but we did get MVP and Finals MVP. So we did okay. I think we did great. It just wasn't the perfect thing. It is what it is. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and we'll be back soon. Peace.